Oh, I've just done it again. This is the third time today on YouTube. I've been nassering for five minutes. And uh, camera's been off. There's somewhere up there. I don't know what it were. I don't know if it's a common buzzard or not. I'm in trees now. I'm not going to see it. I'm not going to get a very good look at it. Yeah, there was just. <laughs> I'll tell you the sign, but uh, no, that's not it. It's a seagull. I've lost it. Uh, the sign back there, cat's eyes removed. <laughs> Gets me every time. Cat's eyes removed. How the hell do you want to catch mice? Little things tickle little some people. And it, that tickles me. Every time I see that sign. There's a picture of a load of cats walking around bumping into stuff. <laughs> I just don't know where to go. At all. Keep an eye on the speed, Stephen. This speeder has a tendency to overspeed. Pardon? A <laughs> uh, lot of bugs about here. I'm getting splattered on the uh, visor. That'll be a cleaning job next time I stop. Oh, camera. I never check for uh, splats. That's something to pay attention to next time we stop. I'm just thinking of somewhere different, you know, to venture to from here, but it's a uh, pretty much standard route to uh, Halls, really. It's a lovely road, don't get me wrong. Yeah, as I was saying, I, uh, I parked a bit to uh, bridge. And another guy came in on Africa Twin and parked next to me, but he parked, our park facing up, he came in, parked down. Uh, so, and the camber doesn't suit parking down because of the side stand, which he didn't then realise. So he then proceeded to um, shove his bike back on his feet. I thought, how tall is he? You don't go right tall. Has you got great long legs and a little body? Thought that can't be right. And he shoved it back on his feet, up the slant. I couldn't have done that. No way whatsoever. Thought, how's he doing that? So when he gets off back, oh, he pushed pushed it back. Then he pushed it round on balls on his feet. Then he gets off back. So I purposely went over to look at his bike standing next to him the gauge is high and he's only the same size as me I'm a smidgen taller big chap like you know I knew he had some power about him I said to him how do you manage that he said what I said should we buy it back like that he said well I've always had FGR 13s and pan Europeans he said so this bike to me is light I said all right I said but you seem to flat foot it. He said, yes, yeah. he said, uh, I said, have you had it lowered? He said, no, he said, I bought the bike, like, like, second use, second hand. He said, in this condition, everything that's on it's on it. Bought it about six weeks ago. He said, I'm happy with it. I said, that, 
He says it's got. The, I've got the seat on the lower setting. I said no. This, it, that's. I said that bike. The, su you, the suspension's been lowered. So I'm looking at it back, and I thought that's a different spring. Uh, to, on the spring. And then I checked the uh, fork legs, and shit, right enough, they were uh, stuck out at York about that much. I said that bike's been lowered. He said, "Will it stop in lowered?" He said, uh, "I like it just like that. No wrong with suspension, and the bike suits me." Uh, I looked, at, you know, I went for a brew like, and he got, I said, "You've got Dunlop tyres on there." I said, they came original with your bike. I said, I'm not knocking your bike at all. I said, I'm just letting you know that them tyres are shit on that, this particular bike. I said, look at all forums and everybody, as soon as, they do, as soon as they can, they take them off. I said, this one's got Bridgestone A41 because of that reason. Honda ditched them on this model and he went to Bridgestone. And it's a lot better for it. So anyhow, we, uh, I said, you know, I said, don't listen to me. I said, I'm only, and in no way am I calling your bike or your tyres or anything this shit or out, but I'm just letting you know. So he thanked me and uh, took the name, but he's going over hard not pass and rhinos. Look at that now, that sign is covered up. See, and this bend, this bend here, has caught me out so many times. I've been going that fast, I've had to go up there. And so have a lot of lads. Honestly, it's tight bend, and if you're carrying a bit of smooth, it's a good job, it's a good job that road's there. It is a good job, that road there. I've been up there a time, I think. Purely uh, until you get to North Road, but you know what I'm like for directions and when I'm bloody going, it takes me a while, and that sign, uh, as the summer goes on, it gets covered over with uh, growth at trees. And it ends up like that. Look at them uh, teepees. Campsite there, look. Look at my store, that hill. Yeah, it's grand to get out. My little pocket's alright. I'm sure she will be. Build the stern stuff that last. Oh, I never text her. Next time I stop, I'll text her. What's going on here then? Either a program won't tell it to the night. Met police. Police camera vans. And them three we've got up here, the silver ones. It showed them in particular. And you want to sit technology in them babies. And it was as I've always said, they've got cameras front, rear, and sideways. And they were saying like, you've no escape. If you get, uh, if you speed and you got caught, there's no, uh, there's no error. And the lenses are that clear, but I've been I've been up close and personal to them lenses, and I've honestly I've always had you know I've always been interested in photography, so I've had good cameras. Uh, my old film camera was a Nikon. I can't remember the name of it. F three O one was it? And the lens is crystal. Crystal clear. Kirby Stephen. Shall we go to Kirby? Oh, that's where I'm going to go. I'm going to go to Kirby Stephen. I like Kirby Stephen. Usually we go to holes from here, but um, look at them owls. 
nice carving that in it at that tree. I don't know what we're talking about now. Can't remember what we're talking about. This is Segba. Well, we're going into Segba now. Then Kirby Stevens Broth and Holes. If that's how you pronounce it, Broth. Well, it would be if it weren't that way. Should have turned around and go back. Yeah, I'm going to do. <coughs> I want to go to. Um, Kirby Stephen. Some sort of marquee gone up there, there's something going on obviously. Yeah, how's that? Speed limit, I'm doing 26 in the 30, that's commendable. Dent, Dent, Dale. Kurt with Stephen Rothman. And I'm going to go back over uh, Richmond Shire and uh, that Dale, Summit Dale, that one's on the telly with that, he has a big family and he lives there, that farmer. He, what's it called? see it anyhow when we get there. Swaledale. Swaledale. I think it's a lovely scenic place that. Swaledale. Wouldn't have been nice if them roads had been wet with all that uh, os crap on. It'd have been uh, 
bar could have been splattered. I mean, what's down them roads? Them's the roads you should be... I should be uh, checking out. There's obviously somewhere down them, isn't there, a road? Now then, what's going on here, Merker? What's brakes on for? You can never understand it, can you? What's going on there? I don't know. Damn, I said goodbye. I don't know what that way, but she signalled this way, that way, when I was back, I don't know. I'm at a loss. Good road this, this is a cracking road. I mentioned this to Chris and uh, Jason, they're looking for alternative uh, routes, they can uh, open bikes up a bit. <coughs> I've been here all year, I came all this way many times last year. And I never saw one speed camera. I'm not turning uh, wood speed on here. All I'm saying is I haven't seen a camera on here. I'm purposely trying to keep, well I haven't been, but uh, I am now, I'm going to try and keep off the racing line on these. Going on there then. Obviously struggling to start them more. I think uh, Chris and Jason would like this road. They'd have been down it, they know the road I'm talking about. There's a couple of um, house turn offs, which is always a bit dodgy, isn't it, when you're travelling at speed, you've got to be careful. But on the whole, this road is quite uh, you know, visible. Not like cow shit. I think that is a you know, dangerous road to ride at speed. Even when you've learnt it, there's so many possibilities of something happening. They often think then garage when they're out in the middle of nowhere. And they, you know, they have like 152. Well, you know, when they over at uh, normal 152 a litre or something like that. I wonder if there's two prices. Price for us, you know, them people who don't travel it so much because obviously it's more expensive to get delivered to these sites, and a price for locals who um, live here and go regular. I've often wondered that. I mean, I can understand it, I'm not knocking it, don't get me wrong. Cross Keys. The name, that's where I met Sprocket in a pub called the Cross Keys. It's like, like that old song, Across a Crowded Room. Da 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 da, some enchanted evening. I will find my true love. 
love, I will find my truth across a crowded room. Da 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 da. And I did see it in cross keys. And his eyes met and we stared at each other for ages. And uh, she left, I left without even speaking to each other. Mind you, she was a boyfriend at the time. <laughs> she jacked him in to go with me. And the rest is history. She picked the winner. She picked the right one. Well, I think so. But then again, I'm biased. Yeah, I'm saying about this road, it's cracking. Look at how it opens up now. You know, this could be a fact if you wanted it to be. I'm not saying you would ride fast on here. I'm just saying you could ride fast on here. But at the moment it's still a bit damp. Tomorrow this will be bone dry. Be like a racetrack. Not saying it is a racetrack, I'm saying it could be like a racetrack. Must take sprocket when I get to um, Kirby Stephen. You know what I'm saying is no turn offs that uh, you, you're watching for, for traffic coming out. Like Cow Sheep Lane, there's turn offs all over it, there's farms and this and that and the other, whereas this, all you've got to do is watch watch the road, read the road, you know, the traffic. You're not watching for something shooting out, maybe it's odd deer or something, I suppose, or air or pheasant. But that's any road. But this, um, it is a good road. And I've said to Chris and Jason, I'll ride it first, I'll go and check it out. You know, I'll set up, go early, morning. And give them a nod. It's a bit misty up top light so you're not getting full, uh, but it's brightening, it? the day's getting clearer. You know, that mist is lifting, although it's down on my right side here, it's lifted from the left. A gaggle here. Riding something going on over there, there's about half a dozen horses in the line. Maybe a couple more. But yeah, the road opens up here, look at all that, it's clear. Junction there, but it's clear, it's clear junction, it's not covered, you can see that car. You can see some pulling out. Ravensdale, have you? 
Ravenstonedale. It's not Ravensdale, it's Ravenstonedale. Yeah, that guy going over Rhino, he's doing it from Rhino to Hard, not Weeded Hard, not to Rhino, and I can't think of that bloody village. You're asking me what's the name of the village before Hard, not, and I can't remember it. I remember campsites, I remember pubs. But can I remember the name of the bloody village? I'll have to have a scone or something at uh, Kirby Stevens, I'm getting a bit peckish. And uh, no, no bananas left, as you know, I were returning to uh, home. Well, this is, this is a not intentional, this. Unintentional. I don't know how long I've got left on my chip. My uh, memory card, as Ainsworth pointed out. Malastang and Outkill. Where'd they come from, these names? Malastang and Outwill. This road's absolutely bang on. A cracking road. <coughs> if you're watching Chum, this is the one you need to be on. They say the temperature's 18 centigrade. Um, I have a jumper in back if I need to put it on, but um, I think I'm alright. It's just a bit. Uh, it is a bit chilly, if I'm honest, but all my vents are open. And uh, I'm going at speeding up more. Freaking hell, that shit me up. I don't know if you heard that. that I'm going to have to sort this uh, phone out for doing that. It blows your head off. I think that sprocket. Which is good because I'm not so far off Kirkby Stephen now. Uh, so I'll stop down here and see what that says. And uh, yeah, let's see how she's doing. A bit of mist in air now, I'm getting a bit of mist on my visor. I hope your man's doing alright at. Uh, Going over um, rhinos and hard not because he's only got a fleece on. It's armoured fleece, like. But we were going to stop and get a. He's going through. He's going through Windermere. He we're going to get stop in Windermere and get a cheap um, plastic overcoat. Uh, a bit worried about it rain, but I've checked the forecast on my phone for him, and it says bone dry. Not a chance of rain. I think he's just missed this. I think it's uh, yeah. Missed. As you can see, the railway runs over this bridge is a settled Carlisle. Settled Carlisle railway. Another route over that way there to Kirkby Stephen. I mean, they could be worth having a worth having adventure. Cycle route, it said, but this will get over that, no problem. Oh, check my camera, must check my camera. Get off bike, check camera. Oh no, get off bike. Oh god, it's blown my head off, does that? Get off bike, check sprocket, then check camera. That's the one. As we arrive at Kirk by Stephen. You know, I'm not so far from that pub. 
the highest pub in Britain. But uh, Stevie did that uh, a couple of weeks ago, so I mean, you probably watched his video and seen that, otherwise I'd have got Tannehill. Otherwise I'd have gone up there, but there's no point going up Tannehill, he's been up Tannehill. However, he didn't go over uh, Swaledale, I don't think, off my memory. So we are going to do Swaledale. Swaledale and R Richmondshire. Let's see if we can get a space down near the uh, Pink Geranium Cafe. I mentioned Pink Geranium to Steve. <laughs> he said it sounds like some of one at film this scene. I wouldn't say the uh, service is fast. But it's a, a lady who runs it on her own, or she did last time I went, uh, Graham and I went. I need to contact Graham. I spoke to him while I were on holiday, he rung me up. Uh, I think he's uh, up for a, a ride out now. Sorted whatever he needed sorting out there. And, uh, yeah. I mean, Sunday is a good day for me. I might give him a ring and see if he fancies. I've got a, I've got a route in mind. That bloody... Uh, oh, Ernie is burning like hell at the minute. I should have, have this Ernie belt thing that I put on and it uh, it holds it in for day and I don't get no pain with it. But as I said, I weren't intending a long ride today. I was just intending to uh, get back for Sprocket, but seeing as she's not so well, I thought I'd stop out a bit longer. This is a look, look at all the leaves. All the leaves are brown and the sky is grey. I get down on my knees. And I began to pray, California dreaming on a winter's day. Look at that spread there now, that's nice. I went for a walk. Oh, summer. Yeah, there's definitely a bit of damp in the air. Although it, uh, I've got me, um, Visor up, and I'm not getting any rain in my face at all. So, we don't want it to rain, do we? I mean, these leathers I've got on are waterproof, they try them. Try them so much or other. Uh, proper good. I mean, what the pants are, I've got the KTM jacket, that's definitely waterproof. Yeah, there's an, these leathers, uh, there's a name for them that means waterproof. Although I can't understand that because the crutch air is uh, breathable. We're going into the centre of um, Kirkby Stephen now. Quite a few bikes here. Cruster, a bike bar. I didn't know that were there. I didn't know that was there. Disabled bear, I could do with a parking space. There's a car coming out there. There's a car coming out there, that'll do me. Happy days. The Mulberry Bush Cafe. Bakery. Bryson's Bakery. I wonder if you can get a 
coffee somewhere. You can, that's a pink geranium there, look. Pink geranium cafe. Right, YouTube. I'm going to knock you off again. And, uh, I'll come back on shortly. Oh, I better put my uh, steering lock on. All right. I might not have been recording then, so I'm going to tell you it again. I think I don't think that's the fourth time I've done it today. I went in the shop of antiquity and curious and collectibles and came across this. It's a ratchet screwdriver. I had one of these when me and Sprocket first got wed, and I used it and used it for years and years and years till eventually the ratchet split. I think it was a shaft. Um, now I think this has had very little use because this is the original keeps things in place plastic, mine, I lost mine early doors there's one piece missing there and I don't think that's the original but it fits the sockets anyhow so I think of one posi drive missing I couldn't believe it when I saw it I've been searching for one of these for years and years stop making them um, stop making them uh, I can't remember how much I paid, but I just got it for a fiver. That is an absolute bargain. I asked him to knock some money off, but he weren't up for that. But I also have noticed the cost of coffee there. I didn't know that were here. I've just been in the bakery there and bought a scone uh, and had that because uh, the day I dropped this back, I think I told you anyway, but I was feeling proper faint that day. I nearly passed out in the uh, event itself, talking to a guy. I'm not saying that had anything to do with me falling off the back and dropping it, but Sprocket said, you know, one of the things you need to do is start eating somewhat while you're out, because usually I just have a banana from 9 in the morning till I get home sometimes, tea time, and he said it's not enough. So... Um, No. So, yeah. No, sorry, mate, I'm going for a brew. Yeah, yeah, I'm not going anywhere. I'm going for a brew. Um, yeah, so I'm going to start eating something and drinking something. Sprocket said, uh, drink more than you're drinking, which I did do. Today I've had a couple of teas, but I'm going to have a coffee. And I'm going to walk up to that bar shop, have a look at that, then I'm coming back, and then I'm jump on back and go over Richmondshire and Swaledale and make my way home, see how sprock it is. Uh, I text her in contact and she says she's okay, but uh, she'll probably be in bed when I get back. Hopefully she'll be alright. Anyway, bye for now, YouTube.